Today we'll see how do we configure JMeter and record the first script using JMeter. So first thing is to download JMeter from the JMeter website and then post that if you see I have this GIF file which is downloaded. I have unzipped it here. So go inside the Apache JMeter, then go inside bin folder. You will have a jmeter.sh. Double click on it and then it takes a couple of minutes to open up the jmeter IDE. Post that. I'll show you how to configure your first HTTPS or HTTP request and how do you run it, see the results. Now I'm just waiting for the JMeter IDE to open up. Take some time, I just wait for it. Okay, now the JMeter ID is open for us. So first thing that you can do is you should be having a test plan by default. So go inside and create your thread group. Here you can name your thread group as per your requirement. Here I'm just naming it as Google Performance and then list. Okay, now under the thread group, go to add and then sampler and then say HTTP request. You can name it accordingly. Let's say I name it as Google Performance Test PT. Here you can write HTTPS because we make HTTPS connections to Google. And then we say www.google.com. Port number for HTTPS by default is 443. And then get, and we are done. So, next steps what we need to do is right click on the HTTPS request created, then say add, and then listener, then say view result tree these are two basic things that we need to add in to see the results and then you can say listener and say summary reports okay now we are good to go because we have just a simple request just to invoke google.com suppose that you can click on this run button which is at the top of uh, the IDE so I'll just click on run okay so let's save it okay it's executed now yeah it's executed so here under the uh, result tree you can see what request you have sent what is the response that you have got and in the summary report you can see how much time it has taken to process the request if you see there is something called average time minimum time max time and then the other throughput received gave is other related data is present here in the next video i'll show you how to get the requests from uh, fiddler or some such kind of tools and then configure all those requests here to complete a transaction in using JMeter and then see the summary report which can be published with the stakeholders. Thanks for watching this video.